the name is Jeff Eyre. I live in the Peak District in Derbyshire. Uh, I manage a hill farm and I'm also an agricultural merchant. Back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, we started round bale silaging and we'd only got one loader and a trailer and we would put them in silage bags in those days and it was seemed to be a slow carry on because we had to keep coming back with a loader. So I spent some time thinking about how to make a self-loading trailer. So um, I developed uh, one in 1983 and it worked really well and uh, we bring bales in, the, the, the bales, it operates, it has a series of arms, each arm is operated independently with just buttons in the cab and you can load uh, either side so it's quick to load. It's a light machine, it travels well on, in these hills, it travels well down narrow lanes, it doesn't need a high horsepower tractor to pull it. We ran it for a fair few years bagging silage and then uh, when we got onto wrapping silage, we found that uh, the yard wrapper, we could, on, on, on our farm, we could overload the yard wrapper because they couldn't wrap them as fast as we were bringing them in. So this led me to thinking that I could, if I could load the bales onto a conveyor and that, that fed the wrapper, that would save moving bales across the wrapper, they'd be already near the wrapper. I originally started making uh, just a conveyor and a wrapper separate but then I realised to make it more manoeuvrable it would be better put on a trailer and uh, we added the uh, the engine to, onto the trailer so fit an engine for the hydraulic system and then put the conveyor put wheels under the conveyor so we could tow it down the road I then added I put two wheel system on on the wrapper and I put now I put a, a 500 wrap and a 750 wrap because that speeds the wrapping process up plus it makes a better job of the bale when you put two 750 rolls it wrinkles on the bale so then made it so I could mount the wrapper on the trailer so I could take the wrapper with me and uh, we could wrap them in the yard and the benefit of this system is that we don't need to tip the bales on the floor anymore when you wrap them in a field or in a yard you, you tip them off and that often blows the seal of the wrap and puts condensation so sometimes you get mould because of it so that's why I decided the best way to produce best silage was to take the bale off the wrapper and uh, and that because we, we're taking it off the wrapper and then the conveyor loads the next bale it's, it's, it's on a single machine like this it's, it's increased the output by 40 to 50 percent. The other benefit is that because it's loading it itself, the hours of the actual loader tractor collecting bales and putting on, the loader does only does half the hours now. So that's helping on depreciation as well.